Hey guys, after finishing the world of Final Fantasy, I picked up a few tips and tricks I wish I had known when I started. So without spoiling your game, I bring you a tips and tricks video which should make your life much easier. I'll do my best to avoid tips that the game offers through in-game tutorials, such as holding R1 to make battles and dialogue go faster. If you know a helpful tip I hadn't shared in this video and you'd like to share with the rest of the community, please feel free to drop a comment so others can learn. Stacking Prism Tunities There are a lot of marriages which can be hit with the Prism Tunity status multiple times. If the condition says to heal the merge, for example, you can heal it multiple times to increase your capture success rate. I think the maximum is 4, but I always go for 5. I can't confirm if 5 stacks is equal to 100% capture uh, rate, but I haven't failed a single capture after applying 5 stacks. Please share your experience in the comments if you ever failed to capture a merge after stacking the condition for 4 or 5 times. Stacking passive skills Pretty much all passive abilities can stack. Whether it is the combination of a searcher and a death machine battery powered passive ability causing skills AP calls to get reduced by 2, or 3 Shivas stacking their enhanced ice passive ability for a major ice damage boost, all these combinations work. The same logic applies to counter attacks. For example, when you stack 3 Shivas of different sizes, there is a chance that from one hit, the attacker will get countered 3 times once from each shiva. So go out and experiment as there are a lot of crazy combinations waiting to be discovered. Elixirs This is one of the rare and difficult to obtain items in most Final Fantasy games. However, in World of Final Fantasy, you pretty much have an infinite supply of them by repeating an intervention called the Five Cognolors Cornelia Part 2. The boss is so easy and dies in one hit. The experience isn't so terrible either, so you can level up your lower level merges while farming some elixirs. General Merge Capture Tips Merges with conditions like inflict specific elemental damage or inflict specific states ailments can be very tricky, especially if they are Markraft or rare encounters. To get around this, try to consider the following list when you're out trying to find a new merge to capture. 5 or 10 of each low tier elemental damage items. The damage is fixed from these items, so in most scenarios, you don't have to worry about overkilling the target. 5 or 10 of each state's ailment items, so you can inflict berserk or confuse, for example, even if you don't have a merge that can inflict that state's ailment. A merge with the passive ability, no escape. Multiple merges will attempt to run away as soon as you try to imprison them. So this passive ability is a good way to counter that. Roger Hunter is effective. Despite multiple websites stating that the skill is bugged, I tested it and it is working just fine. So try to have it equipped at all times, especially when you're doing post-game content, as the skill makes armor gems look like a common item. A monster that has subdue, which reduces the monster's HP to a minimum of 1. This is effective for both marriages requiring you to drop their HP below a specific threshold or marriages with a requirement to hit them with a physical attack. This way, you ensure that the target is not going to die. Experience and level grinding Try to avoid leveling up in random dungeons as most of the time it's going to end up being a huge waste of time since the time spent versus XP earned ratio isn't good at all. There are specific zones in the game that will shoot you past certain level ranges in no time at all. I'll list some zones in the description and if your level falls within one of the ranges, you will most likely be able to level up faster in one of the suggested areas. Scanning Always use Libra on a merge you're encountering for the first time, even if you don't plan to capture that merge. That first scan will continue to benefit you forever. Even when you run into an upgraded or stronger version of that merge later in the game, you will instantly have its data visible by pressing the options button. Exploration skills When going into any dungeon, especially ones you haven't explored yet, do your best to have merges with the following passive abilities available. Zap This will activate electronics and bar gates. Sizzle This will burn obstacles and ignite cannons. Chill 
This will cool the area and freeze water surfaces. Flutter. This will help you fly over a short gap to reach the ledge on the other side. Smash. Well, it smashes boulders. All these monsters can be obtained in the second dungeon, so I highly recommend you get them as soon as possible before you progress any further in the game. This will eliminate the chance of you missing any treasure boxes or rare encounters. Sometimes you get occupied with other things and you will forget about the dungeon or about that path you didn't take when you had the chance the first time. Well, this game surely was so much fun and it's scratched an itch I've had for a long time waiting for a classic JRPG style game. I hope this video equips you with the required knowledge needed to get the most out of it. If you learned anything new, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Goodbye.